Hello. Today I will be quoting a Mr. Asimov on the threat of Cretianism. Cretianists have learned enough scientific terminology to use it in their attempts to disprove evolution. They do this in numerous ways, but the most common example is the repeated assertion that the second law of thermodynamics demonstrates the evolutionary process to be impossible. The second law of thermodynamics says that all spontaneous changes in the direction of increasing disorder that is, in a downhill direction. There can be no spontaneous build up of the complex from the simple, therefore, because that would be moving uphill. According to the creationist argument, since, by the evolutionary process, complex forms of life evolve from simple forms, that process defies the second law, secretionism must be true. Such an argument implies that the clearly visible fallacy is somehow invisible to scientists, who must therefore be flying in the face of the second law through sheer perversity. Scientists, however, do know about the second law and they are not blind. The second law of thermodynamics applies to a closed system that is, to a system that does not gain energy from without, or lose energy to the outside. The only true closed system we know of is the universe as a whole. Within a closed system, there are subsystems that can gain complexity spontaneously, provided there is a greater loss of complexity in another interlocking subsystem. The overall change then is a complexity loss in line with the dictates of the second law. Evolution can proceed and build up the complex from the simple, thus moving uphill, without violating the second law, as long as another interlocking part of the system the sun, which delivers energy to the earth continually moves downhill, as it does, at a much faster rate than evolution moves uphill.